Hi, my microphone broke, so now I'm using the crusty busted earbuds as we all love and adore. But today I just wanted to kind of sit down and relax and have a little girl talk, get a little deep, while of course eating food. So come on, grab your snacks. First, let's do a little haul. What food I have? I have um water, a strawberry popsicle, my favorite cookie dough ever, and then short because I'm skinny. Sargento snack, Oreos, and little bites. So girl up i never really talked to my mom about certain stuff because i didn't feel comfortable now it's like completely different like i talked to my mom about everything but growing up since i didn't talk to her i had an older brother and i never really had like an older sister or like her best friend or something like that so i can talk to about like these types of topics that are more like confidential so i never really like knew the answers to certain questions so i kind of just like lived and learned it out so with that being said here is what i have learned throughout my 15 years of living starting off strong my first topic is periods so let's start off with the first time that i got my period so basically we we're at the movie theaters with my family and we had to go watch a movie so the movie ended and i had to go to the bathroom and my mom came with me but whatever i'm going to use the bathroom and i look down and i see blood and I was like, yo, what is going on? So I'm literally in the bathroom, right? In front of everyone, like they're like stalls. And I told my mom and I'm like, mom, I got hurt. And then she was like, but whatever. She hears me and she comes to the door, like super scared. And she slams the door wide open. And when I say wide open, I mean like, everyone could see my junk like literally so she's over here giving me a full tutorial on how to put on um the pad i don't know what i was doing i was like yo what is this actual uh, like diaper doing on me like i was genuinely so confused and that's really how my first time was whatever it's normal it happens going along with the topic of periods do you suffer from period cramps no as far as like the side effects that i get on my period it's usually just mood swings but honestly my periods are super irregular like i'll probably get them once every two months sometimes once every three months but the doctor said it's because i'm not eating right so that's my fault but i'm not mad about it i really don't care if they're regular probably bad for my health next topic is friendships have you ever been in a toxic friendship way too many for my age way too many for my age honestly what i did when i had like so many toxic friendships is i just like cut everyone off not the healthiest way to do it because everyone when i came back to school from summer they were like hey where'd you go and i was like hey 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 how y'all doing and that was it and now i don't talk to those people anymore if you don't know if you are in one think about if they're making you a better person i would just say like start slowly distancing yourself and watch what you say to them and watch what you do with them i've been in so many friendships where they have like dragged me into drama or they have like talked about me like behind my back and then they're like oh no no, no i didn't say this whatever whatever but i bruh you are worth so much better like you do not need to have that person in your life like there is a million other people in this world like more than a million like, trust me it's not that big of a deal you'll find someone else for me if i make a friendship with someone and i just really like think to myself like literally every single friend that i make i'm like okay am i gonna know this person in five years am i still gonna care about them as much in like five years if that answer is a no don't worry about what happens with them don't worry about it second question is how do you make friends honestly i used to suck at making friends especially like during covid because obviously like there's like really no way to make friends however now i've taken like such a different perspective i think when it comes to making new friends or meeting new people my secret is to talk to ev my secret is to talk to mostly everyone as if you've known them for, for years and it works because it makes them feel instantly comfortable and making them feel comfortable makes you feel comfortable and then it's like already a relationship on its own without no effort hola mi amiga está aquí dice hello, hello. hola como esta tu nombre es magalis 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 es mi nuevo amiga okay gracias <laughs> estamos en cambio aquí necesita ayuda no está bien gracias está bien okay bueno que tengo un buen día if you are a person that's more introverted though because i used to be very introvert i would just say just go up to them and be as genuine as possible be like your true self and if they like you for who you are and you like them for who they 
truly are then it'll just work and if you do act like your true genuine self and they don't like that move on you'll find someone else okay. and the last question for this topic how do you get real friends this is something pretty hard to find these days because everyone is fake for the most part i would just say to just take your time real friends is a process and my biggest tip would be to wait to see both of their sides because everyone has that good side that good oh. hi how are you side but then also everyone has that backstabber side and yeah i would just say to see all aspects of them in every single area before you start letting yourself into them just slowly let them in until that trust is built up and that is how you create a real friend and for the last cordy cordy <laughs> okay i just put this one as like random girl talk questions uh, plans for next year i plan to get a car start driving goes along with the car and to start doing dual enrollment for valencia so we'll see how that goes but that is the main priorities that i want to like get over with by next year i also want to learn oh, okay where do i see myself in five years by that time i will be 20 so i'd probably say in college probably moved out of the house by then specifically in five years i don't know i really hope that i am still um me third question was asked by my friend chicky or ariel she asked me about telling you guys if i had a boyfriend <laughs> no 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 i just haven't met anyone more genuine and sweet than kermit so i'm waiting on that one and we'll see recap of my sophomore year at first it was like i had literally no friends like, and i didn't have social media so i literally had no way of making friends but now i have like the smallest friend group i have like my one main friend in school and my year has been pretty good it was a lot harder than my freshman year my school ends in like a month or so so i'm very happy about that next question is will i be driving soon that is to be determined i want to learn how to actually drive because i like actually suck at driving but yeah i really do hope i get better at driving where are you going Going a bit slow. Next question, I don't know why I wrote this down, but it is do I plan on having kids? Obviously in the future. I wanna have two kids, like that's it. That's it. But I do at least want to adopt one kid. I know the process is absolutely crazy, but I just want to adopt a kid. That is my main long-term goal. But yeah, we'll see if it works out. Biggest struggle as a girl. I don't think this solely pertains to like just for a girl because everyone does this, but I would probably say my biggest struggle is overthinking. That's my biggest struggle in life is that i always get in my head about it and i always stress out about it and it affects me more than it should and i hate that how do you gain self-confidence obviously i'm still working on it i gain self-confidence by realizing that i'm stuck in this body there is no other way that i can get a body unless i pull like a kylie jenner and i buy a new body that is not happening though because my money can go to so many other things and i have learned to make the best out of what i have that did not answer the question opinions on today's beauty standards they suck the next question is how do i stay happy i am not happy all the time i look like i'm happy all the time i'm not i literally fake it time make it there's gonna be so many things in life that like throw obstacles at you and like try to tear you down but you literally have to be the one to pull yourself back up no one else is gonna do it for you like get yourself back up and move on how is your mental health really my mental health is honestly pretty good it's the best it's ever been it's an ongoing process there's still stuff i have to learn but i genuinely think I'm in a place right now where I can say that I'm like content with the person that I am right now. And that is all for today's video. That's all I had to say. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk with me getting into my life. And yeah, love you. Bye bye.